there are many things found throughout history which cast doubt onto the modern chronological paradigm in regards to the ages of man. We have often wondered how many of these proofs have been unearthed over the years, only to disappear again into the ether without even a mention, with a caption from one of the many source books of the notorious William R. Corliss shedding some light onto the numbers of these proofs, found and discarded over the years, specifically drawn out deep from within the minds of Earth. Quote, Dr. Perez Snell of Sonora had in his collection a human jaw, which was brought out in a carload of pay dirt from a shaft stretching far beneath the Table Mountain, and with it were several stone implements. The specimen was given to him by a miner. It is only fair to state that there could not well have been found a miner in all that region who would have thought it worth his while to attempt a deception, nor even one who had any doubt in his mind as to the point we are considering. For they saw the products of man's work come out with the gravel too often to pay commonly any attention to them. The only wonder he even took the trouble to pick out the bone at all. There can be no question that for one such that has been preserved, dozens and perhaps hundreds have gone down in the current of water in the sluice. The bones in question had come from a depth of 180 feet below prehistoric lava flows. Colonel Hubbs, state superintendent of instruction, had in his possession in 1857 portions of a human skull himself, which itself came from an impossibly old mine." End quote. It would seem the presence of these artifacts be predictably rife yet ignored due to already established paradigms of history. The Calaveras skull, also known as the Pliocene skull, being one such artifact. A human skull found by miners in Calaveras County, California, dated to as early as the Pliocene, thus it supports the idea that humans, mastodons, and mammoths coexisted but also push the timeline of man back an unacceptably long way, that in regards to modern paradigms, predictably, the remains, due to miners' lack of collecting them, has been heavily argued as a fake. On February 25, 1866, miners found the human skull in a mine, again beneath a layer of prehistoric and easily dated lava flow at a depth of 130 feet. The skull made it into the hands of Josiah Whitney, then the state geologist of California, as well as a professor of geology at Harvard University. A year before the skull came to his attention, Whitney had also published the belief that humans, mastodons, and mammoths coexisted. Thus he became an instant advocate for its popularization. The skull served as proof of his convictions. After careful study, he officially announced its discovery at a meeting of the California Academy of Sciences on July 16, 1866, declaring it evidence of the existence of Pliocene Age Man in North America, which would easily make it the oldest known record of humans on the continent. We find the skull, and indeed William Corliss's research, incredibly compelling. <laughs>